To the uninitiated, scanning can seem like an arcane, time-consuming process, but really, all you need are the right tools and some patience. If you have a spaceship, the basic tools come fitted as standard, and if you've been playing EVE for any length of time, so too does patience. Those basic tools start with the overview, which by default is on the right of the screen whenever you're in flight. More a tactical feed than an actual scanner, it provides a constantly updated and configurable list of local ships, structures and celestial objects. For some, like player piloted ships, the overview has limited range, but it's something to keep an eye on whenever you're in space. To find ships beyond the range of the overview, up to 14 AU away, and specifically to scout out threats that might be lurking at your next waypoint, you need to familiarise yourself with the directional scanner. The D-Scanner, as it's commonly known, can only pick up contacts in a sphere or cone that radiates from the direction in which your view is pointing when you hit the Scan button. If you go to the scanning interface, Alt-D, you can see how this works. By adjusting the scan range and width on the left panel, you can affect the resolution and the accuracy of the data that comes back. Used properly, the D-Scanner is an invaluable scouting tool, but if you want to pinpoint ships and highlight deeper space signatures, you need to turn to your sensor overlay, which is attuned to displaying mysterious pockets of space that invariably require further investigation in order to access. These show up as coloured brackets in the main view, and as ticks that shift their orbit around your command control circle, depending on where the camera is aiming. You can, of course, filter out the signals you don't want, such as entry-level cosmic anomalies, which you can warp to as you would a moon or a stargate. For other stellar mysteries, collectively known as cosmic signatures, combat, relic, data, gas sites and wormholes, more specialist equipment is required, namely probe launchers and the ships that are best suited to equipping them, exploration frigates and their advanced Tech 2 variants. Before you hit the market though, there are two types of probe launcher that you need to consider for the two types of probe, core and combat. Both can be used for seeking out profitable cosmic signatures and combat anomalies, but combat probes are much less efficient at it. However, they are great at pinpointing individual ships that might otherwise go undiscovered. Regardless of who or what you'll be tracking down, the actual process of probe scanning is much the same, and is actually easy once you've done it a couple of times. Essentially, it's a process of elimination where you arrange your array of eight probes over a signature reading, hit analyze, then rearrange and increase scan resolution until the signal is at 100%, at which point you can warp to it and fight, hack or mine whatever's there. As an example of how to do this, here you can see a bunch of signatures that require investigating. If we click on one, we see a red wireframe sphere, which is the area we need to scan. Double click to focus on it, then launch your probes, making sure they're in a pinpoint formation. Now, see that box with the arrows? That represents the center of where your probe array will initiate its next scan, and you want that to be over the center of the red X. The quickest way to accomplish this is to rotate the views so that you can only see a side facing of the cube. Then dragging it to the centre of the X, you can rotate the view to the top facing and do the same again. Now if you spin around, you'll see that you're pretty much spot on, with only minor adjustments required. Next you need to select your scan resolution, which is the probe size slider next to the analyse button. At each stage of the scan process, and there may be four or five, you want all your probes overlapping the entirety of the area where the signature might be, ideally with the centre probe covering the signature areas, in this case, the sphere. When it is, hit Analyze and wait for the results. When they come in, you should find you have a smaller area to cover, either a ring, two points, or even better, a yellow marker. Again, simply rearrange your probes to cover each area, zooming in the view and increasing scan resolution to increase the signal strength at each stage. If you're fully zoomed in and perfectly aligned with probe size set to 0.25 AU and you're still not at 100% signal strength, hold down Shift to rearrange your individual probes in a tighter formation and try again. Once you have a signal pinpointed, what you do with it is up to you. If it's a gas site, you'll want to warp to it and mine it. If it's a data or relic site, you'll have to hack it with the required module to claim its treasures. And of course, if it's a combat site or a sneaky enemy vessel up to no good, you may want to get a more capable ship or call some friends over. And if it's a wormhole, well who knows where it'll lead. If you've been playing EVE Online for long enough, you'll know the greatest opportunities rarely make themselves obvious. 
Good luck finding them though, and don't forget to recover your probes before heading off into the partially unknown. Space littering is bad, okay?